all my friends. Uh, this time I'm going to show you about uh, Photoshop Lightroom. Well, it's not a very sophisticated one, even I think for beginners it's a very simple program. <coughs> all you got to do, and remember this is not Photoshop, you can do, you cannot do everything here. You can only edit your photography uh, as uh, with the lights or everything. Here is the name. And this program does does what it says. Lightroom. So the only thing that do you can add some presets. You can add you can add some things, but not all of them. Come on. Develop. Well, the library folder is selected. Develop. And here we are inside. Our folders here. All we gotta do is, uh, if we wanna, if we wanna edit it manually, we can go here at all the presets one by one and check them. Uh, you can add details or you can add uh, you can add everything here uh, black and white curve dark curve curve you can add everything or here are all our presets or if you like if you have done want some presets here Click in some effects. Here it sees it seems that nothing is changing. But oh yeah, it's changing. If you look at your photography here, or presets are. Changing one by one. Here we are. You can make your photo look like the style or make everything. Now, for this, all you gotta do is if you wanna crop overlay, if you wanna crop your form here. Uh, like your presets. If you wanna remove red eyes, all you gotta do is to go with this click in the eyes. But this is enabled to form red eyes. Red eyes here this time. All you get is you do shadows or to go in, get rid of the filter spot little well too. Is something like first loop. It's, yeah, it's like uh, stamp to in Photoshop. Like one adjustment brush. Everything you gotta do here is very simple. Uh, well, I prefer it manually better because in this way uh, 
Let's go back. back, back, back. Yeah. This is our original one. All we can do is to go at the temper, the temperature, to fix the temperature your tint, do everything here manually, one by one. Until your photography is good for you and for your eyes. You can show here before and after. Download. Show your clarity, your gain, grain. If you want to add some or add more, well, I like grain in my photos. I send it because I don't work with BNGs. show or before and after down a lot you know you gotta do is to user presses make highlights, page shows, everything you like here. Those projects are very good ones. You can do a little more from the web. And make your videos, make your photos look greater. Lightroom called Dawn as this one here. Match bypass aged photo cross process that was default for yesterday. All we gotta do is and after this all we gotta do to export this photo is to go at library back. Your photo will not change. And hit export. Export to specific folder. Choose your folder. Put in some folder. Existing files. They are files with the same name. Name. Well, you will put the command. You will can rename it. Your file before exporting. That don't do nothing. Don't do the export specifically. Yeah, that is called, that's my folder. And after this, I delete it. Our photography now is exported. Well, as we say, this is the uh, first one. Like we said, very simple to work with online to publish your photographies online. She would have changed some things here. No. Well, it's not a pretty one because we have put some. Yeah, well, we. It wasn't need to put uh, all this color inside, but I want to show you how it. The concept how it works. After this, I delay the file. It's a good software. It's a pretty one. You can use it to make your photos fast, to make everything fast there. And just like that, bam bam, publish it.